after after what I had done originally with my inventing and a lot of the stuff I had invented like traction engines have been rebuilt three times and the metal that that is made that they're made from has been updated three or four times it started out as one metal and was updated at least three or four times with better and better metal um, my pumping stations were originally wood and then were updated to metal later on or I was able to play with some metal and do some things um, the Empire State Building was actually built for me by my people that's why it has the eagles on it <clears throat> a lot of my mining equipment a lot of my, a lot of my inventions allowed humanity to um, be raised up to such a level that was not possible before. Uh, a lot of my personal inventions um, raised humanity up, allowed everyone to have better lives through the plows and the steam traction engines and lots of other things. And my kindness of loaning out equipment and loaning out stuff to people who would normally not have gotten use of that stuff to do plowing and all kinds of stuff. It's not every day someone like the leader of Caterpillar says, hey, you can have 150 of these tractors. Go build your town. And that's what I did. That's who I was. And the kind, wonderful things that I did like even after the stamp mills were designed, I continued to design stuff anyway. Like the rock crushing machines. Didn't have to, but I did. And all the things that I did basically led humanity or certain people of humanity to practice their whole lives just to build one thing for me. One chest of drawers, one cabinet, one fireplace, one epic building. The number of people that knew what I had done was <laughs> enormous, in the thousands. And my loaning out of cars and giving away of cars and loaning of trucks to towns or to have towns built um, and also how I would uh, use factories for what I needed to have done and then just lend them out to whoever needed it or a small fee. Reasonable, very reasonable, just to pay cover costs. But it basically meant that some people practice their whole life lives to build the perfect car for me or the perfect something for me. Some people practice for generations, like four generations, just to build me the perfect car. So imagine my disappointment when some 20-year-old comes along and says, Yep, I've had the keys my whole life. Yep. Yeah, I get the bitches with this car. The best, most talented architects and designers built that car, for me actually, as a gift. And other cars. Just so someone can get hot girls in that car. A master designer designed some of those cars. World renowned, nobody better. They spent their whole lives designing the perfect engine and the perfect aircraft. Just so someone can come along and just fuck with it. I really want humanity to really know, and the people today, in today's world, exactly what they've trampled on and what they've disrespected. 
so they can truly know who they are inside. That some of those things people studied their whole lives. In fact, whole nations came together to build some of those things. Some of those old cars. Whole nations, 5,000 people working to design one amazing thing. So someone in 1940 can get a free ride, apparently, or 1950. I want every 20-year-old and 30-year-old and 40-year-old and even the, eight, the, the 60-year-olds and 70-year-olds to know what and who they trampled on. and what those cars really were. And how those traction engines were actually updated more than three times over a 150 year period. They've been rebuilt, remade three times. So those people out there who are thinking they're so cool or so awesome or how it's so easy for them so they can really know why why was Empire State Building so nice why were those trains so good why did those airplanes why were those airplanes so well balanced and perfect that's why because of the plows, the water mills, and water wheels, and everything else. And that's what you trampled on. My legacy. A legacy of free power, free energy, electricity, and building whole towns and whole countries for a few million people or a couple hundred million people. And even when there were more people, I found ways of somehow making that happen with food. And even after that, I personally paid out of my own pocket to develop new foods for the people of today and tomorrow. Better corn. Better this, better that. Better mining equipment. Some of my own design. So you understand exactly who I was and exactly why they did what they did. Not that it matters. Not that I'll change anything. But, you know. And that's why the drill bits were so perfect. And that's why the nuclear power plants were built so well. That's why everything was done so perfectly. Why the Fabergé eggs were so beautiful. Because some people spent more than one life making those Fabergé eggs. So that they can be just that good. For me. Because they know, or knew, that I had spent 700 years designing everything that I possibly could for humanity. And even paying for the things like oil and some things like cotton might actually be a gift from somebody else who appreciated what I did and who I was. It's hard to say, really. Because I was the most fair, kind person ever. And um, also an amazing inventor. And that brought about other amazing inventors and other are the best singers, the best best financers, the best managers to make things work. And that created another effect which actually made society even better. It compounded on itself rather quickly. 
So, when you're a 20-year-old kid sitting inside that rich Corinthian leather and that girl's coming over to you because whatever, or whatever, you feel like whipping out your dick and being stupid, realize why everything is the way it is. Anyway.